Well, here we are today at the fabulous Allcroft. And after yesterday's hurricane, which I was hoping for today, to be honest with you, I thought but it, we haven't had a lot of winds lately. And um, because of the the winds, I thought it stirred them up. And what happens here at Allcroft, the fish come close, and uh, but uh, it's not to be. And look at it, we, we've had a frost here. And to be honest with you, it wasn't been for that wind yesterday, this would have been frozen up, I think. I think we'd have had another, another cancellation. But anyway, we're not. And what we're here today for, it's the final round of the Feeder Masters pairs. And uh, the last one got cancelled, we don't rearrange. And uh, it's the final. Uh, and it's just a case of uh, going up and clapping uh, Steve Ringer and uh, Frankie Jam and Jelly, who uh, looks like they're paralysing it. And uh, so, well done, they've got it dead sock on. Unlike me and Mick, we haven't quite got it right this year. We've, we've not got us feeding right. And uh, I don't know whether we've, we've, I think we've drawn all right. I just think we've got tactics wrong, to be honest with you. And um, we've had it right in the past, but this year we haven't. Um, but anyway, but the good news is, we're 15th overall. We've got to get in top 10 to win money. How we're going to get there, mm, doubt it. It's going to be tough. We need two really good performances, but hey, we never give in. Fight to the end, to the death. And uh, I've drawn us two good pegs for a change. We I don't think we've drawn as right well this series, but today I'm on Malt and I'm on peg 23, as you can see there, look. And peg 23 and 26 have probably been the most consistent two pegs on here for skimmers, because it's a silverfish thing, cap, count, cap, counter pound. Um, so you're fishing for silvers. And it's been a fantastic area just here. So hopefully, only problem with that aerator. Um, I hope it hasn't been on, because if it's been on, it will not catch anything. You don't want to be wearing aerators on in winter. It's almost kiss of death. But uh, but normally this is a good area, so I'm not grumbling. But I've drawn me 18 on bridge outer, which has won last two matches. So it's a great area for, for skimming. It could catch 20 odd pound there. And, uh, and get and get sneakers into money overall. So I've drawn us really, really well, I think. I think we've got two, I think I can catch 10 pound and he can catch 20. So uh, I think we've got a, a good chance. So this is Malt Outer, just a, you've probably seen my videos and we're on YouTube now as well. So a lot of these will be on YouTube. And uh, as you can see, what a complex. All the caravan people live in these all the time. And uh, look at that, that's called the sun. <coughs> So it's uh, in, in the sky, uh, that's island over there, other side is, we, me and Mick never draw on the other side in the under, it just seems weird that we always seem to be in this little area, not that I'm grumbling. So let's show you his tactics, what we're going to do, I've got two rods set up, um, 11 and 12 foot soft rods, uh, parabolic look, uh, lovely, lovely rods. Uh, I've got some new tips which I'm going to, I'm going to do a little piece about the tips. Uh, they brought some new tips out for the rods that are really fine, fantastic tips. We just, we, I took an eye off them, but that's me, me and Alan Taylor messing about, so I'll explain that later. But we can use Bloodworm and Joker in these matches, so here you go. That's, that's me mixed with my Joker, look as you can see. So I've got some pinkies, I love pinkies, me for skimmers, maggots, Bloodworm and casters. It won't be any different to that, and all I'll be doing is trying to catch as many fish as I can. The rod rest to my left, I'm going to do a little video in the next couple of weeks why certain days I have my rod rest to my left when you know that normally I have it to my right but there's a reason for that but I'm going to explain that in a little video for you which might help you so but lovely fishing I tell you something it's warm I might even have to take my jacket off uh, a Lancashire lad might have to put one on like it's uh, probably a, it's not that warm for them over there but lovely peg lovely day that's my setup straight forward uh, with no methods, no anything like that. It's proper silverfish fishing, and my target weight is 10 to 12 pound. If I get that, I'll have done my job, and that's about it. So, what a beautiful place! What a beautiful day! So, I hope you have a great day, and uh, I'll see you later. Let me know tonight that I've gone on. Have a great day.